a new Jet Ace for the Jet Age we live in. It took fuel injection to make the jet engine possible. And now fuel injection opens a new age of automotive performance. Chevrolet's Jet Ace. Chevrolet's new and exclusive ramjet fuel injection. What is fuel injection? What does it do? How does it work? What are its advantages? What will fuel injection on the engine of your car mean to you in performance, economy, and all-around driving satisfaction? For part of the answer, let's go back to the early days of aviation and the even earlier days of the automobile, when there was only one basic type of gasoline engine. This simple engine was made possible by the invention of the carburetor to mix the fuel and air. Fuel fed to this nozzle is regulated by a valve. Air moving through this passage picks up the fuel and carries it into the engine cylinder. A throttle valve controls the amount of the mixture reaching the engine. Over half a century of brilliant engineering has gone into refinements and features to help the basic carburetor do a better job of delivering air and fuel to the engine. Today's carburetor is a triumph of engineering research and development with outstanding performance and economy. Even so, as more and more power and response have been packed into every cubic inch of the most modern engines, it has become more and more vital to control the fuel-air ratio to match the exact requirements of every driving condition and speed. Aircraft designers with a similar need for fuel control to get maximum performance and efficiency during takeoff, cruising, and landing solved the problem by adding another man to the crew. The flight engineer, with his gauges, valves, and switches, controls the fuel-air ratio to match every changing power requirement throughout the flight. And then came the jet engine, writing a new history of power plant development in the skies. The most powerful, and at the same time, the simplest jet engine is the type called the ramjet. It resembles a piece of pipe open at both ends. Air entering at the forward end mixes with burning fuel. The hot expanding gases rush out the tail end of the pipe to create a tremendous driving force. For several reasons, it was not considered possible for a jet engine to make use of a carburetor type fuel system. Even the largest carburetor would slow down the flow of air into the engine. Even the finest carburetor would not provide accurate enough control of fuel for all conditions. And finally, no carburetor could work properly against the pressures built up in the jet-type engine. On the other hand, fuel at high pressure can be sprayed directly into the engine. This system, called direct fuel injection, is used in all jet engines whether they be the ramjet used in missiles, the turbojet engine used in most fighter aircraft, or the turboprop engine designed for the airliners of tomorrow. The fuel injection principle has been applied to the piston type engine also. For many years, it has been successfully used in heavy duty engines where brute force is a major requirement. Fuel injection has many advantages in economical operation during long, steady pulls. Fuel injection also helps the fastest racing cars set new records for sustained top speeds. But as the owner and driver of a passenger car, you want far more than brute force or sustained top speed. You want the instant engine response, the flexibility, the smoothness, and overall economy that are possible only with perfect control of your engine's fuel supply. One way to match these requirements would be to have a special set of instruments and controls on the instrument panel. Then, of course, you'd have to add a man to the crew of your car, a flight engineer, to read the instruments and handle the controls. For instant starting, even in severe weather, your engineer pumps in extra fuel for each cylinder and sets the controls for a slight increase in idling speed during warm-up. 